Hey guys, good morning from me. It is a beautiful Sunday and it is currently 8 a.m. in the morning, y'all. Guess what? I'm finally doing another food video. I've been missing baking, you know, I've been missing to cook. So um, I'm going to film myself bake today, which is really great. And we're gonna do some talks as well while we bake, okay? I really hope this recipe turns out fine because I really want to come up with a recipe that's so good and it will make people happy and at the same time, they would want it again, continuously, I really hope. But I haven't really found the exact like baking recipe, so we're gonna do that today. And guys, if my voice is a little bit deep is because um, it's still early morning and usually like mornings for me, my voice get really deep. And I hope the angle is good, okay? I've always been filming on this part of my like clean kitchen i'd say um it's literally in front of my sink but the lighting is just so much better on this area compared to there but i've got a lot of stuff as you can see it's like baking supplies and everything without further ado let's just get straight into our baking session today if you've watched my videos previously i've made a bunch of chocolate chip cookies because i like them okay they're pretty like i know they're classic they're basic but they're good and i like chocolate chip cookies they're so good i'm gonna make it something a little bit more healthy today because I'll be using um, oat flour instead of all-purpose flour. Today I will be making oat chocolate chip cookies and I've tried this vegan one which is so good all right it's a vegan recipe from from like a cookie store um, where I'm from it's called Dolab and they've got this vegan cookies and it's so good and i want to make it but today's recipe isn't vegan though because i'm gonna put eggs in my in my cookies and i'm not making that much so i'm making a small batch um let's just get right into it hey. while we get baking i want to talk faith talk today with y'all i feel like it's good to just um tell my perspective about god's principles and god's word of the bible and just a very chill conversation as we go with this baking. And I hope you guys will try this recipe out. I will let you know if it doesn't taste good, but if it does taste good, I really hope you guys will try it out. Okay, I'll be on this side and the little video will be here, okay, next to me. So we've got oat flour, we've got brown sugar, an egg, coconut oil. Oh God, there's a fly, frick, okay. So these are just some of the basic ingredients for now. We wanna make sure that our eggs are room temperature. So a trick is just put your eggs into warm water and just let it sit for a couple minutes, which I will be doing just with a glass, really. I'm literally doing this just right before I head off to church and I got church later at 10 a.m. So I gotta be quick so that my siblings can try this out. My parents are currently not home because they're in Holy Land and I'm so happy for them because they get to see the place where Jesus did his life. It's just amazing. Okay, anyways, back to baking. Um, I have my little bowl over here, you see. I think this angle is good. We're just gonna put in 32 grams of brown sugar and I will not be using white sugar today because I'm feeling extra healthy. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of salt. Let me get my salt. But just a little pinch for flavor, just a tiny bit. I feel like this much is good, just boop. After we put our salt, um, I'll put this aside. We're gonna add in some coconut oil. You guys are able to use butter, but today I'm just gonna use coconut oil because uh, I've never tried using coconut oil. I think it'll, it'll just bring out that flavor, you know? I don't know how much just yet, but I think I'm gonna use my measurements to make sure they're not wrong. Let me get my measurements real quick. Half a tablespoon of coconut oil. Let's put another half a tablespoon. So I think that'll be one. Let's mix it again all together. Make sure they're combined. But yeah, what do you guys think about a closed door? Like, we all sometimes take for granted a door that God's trying to close in your life. Why are things not happening the way I thought it would? This could be in any situation of your life. I feel like a closed door is something to be grateful about when you think about it. God is just trying to protect you from harm that you thought was going to benefit your life if you enter that place or if you get into that situation that you thought you wanted for your life. The thing is we don't see it, but 
God does and God knows if it's bad for you or if it's good for you so he just happens to close it throughout accepting a closed door that God's trying to work on in your life sometimes feels tough it feels difficult because you've always wanted this to happen but then God's like no it's not part of my will and he just opens another door for you and yet you have to focus on that door that God's trying to open for you in order for you to see the reasons why he closed the doors that you thought he would open for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna crack my eggs now and we're gonna pour it into this mixture, but I'm not gonna use a whole egg. I'm just gonna use a few, which is honestly, I don't even know. Mix that up, make sure it's even. This is honestly the weirdest baking method but i'm not gonna use a whole egg because i'm not making that many half a tablespoon of egg and then another half a tablespoon so that's a total of one tablespoon of egg this is insane what am i doing okay let's mix this bad boy up oh let's go get in there bro i feel like you could totally just put a a slight bit of vanilla extract but i'm running out of vanilla extract sadly if you guys would like to add vanilla extract go ahead because i think it'll make the cookies smell really good more vanilla -y. now let's get into the oat flour or all-purpose flour but just try to use oat flour for this time because i'm using oat flour and it's already sifted so i'm just gonna put it right in okay all right guys so this is a fourth cup okay We'll test it out first and see the consistency. We're gonna add a pinch of baking soda. Just a tiny bit, you see? Okay, we're good. I think this is, this should be okay. You gotta have this consistency, I suppose. But what do you guys think about this? Like, or do you think I should add a little bit more flour to this? Maybe just a little bit more, okay? As I was saying earlier, in any situation of your life, I feel like everyone's been through that. Been through having this thought of, oh, I wish this were to happen, but it didn't really work out the way you thought it would. I've been through that in my situation. Like, I've liked a guy, and I thought I'd end up with this guy, but it didn't really work out, so... Um, it's totally cool. Why? Because it's a no from God because he has something else better in, in store for you. Like he's he's got better plans in the future for you. So if there is a closed door happening in our life, let's give thanks to God for that. Even in the midst of the unknown, even if you're not certain about why he did it or what kind of door he's trying to open up for you, I think one thing we should do is believe. He always has something better in store for us. You know, just give thanks to God while we're at it. Give thanks to closed doors because that's a protection in your life. And I think our dough is starting to form. If it sticks like this and if it doesn't fall, then you're ready to go. Now we're just gonna add in our chocolates, everybody. I'm using dark chocolate and we're just gonna chop these off and put them into our cookie dough. I feel like this is a good amount of dark chocolate chunks. So I just chopped a few grams. Honestly, you can put as much as you want, how much ever you want, but I think this is enough for me. Let's put it in our dough. Wait, guys, this is really difficult. I did not thought it was going to be this sticky because the thing is we're using oats so it's a little bit stickier that looks horrible <laughs> but you know what we'll just get right into baking um who knows it'll turn out great it works fine with my oily hands so just make sure your hands are a bit oily so that it won't stick and then maybe just a little bit of this size and i'll just put them here into the baking sheet and then continue with the rest you can use gloves if you don't feel like using your bare hands but um, i don't mind using my bare hands um i think for this one we're gonna do 180 degrees celsius um fahrenheit go check it yourself on google i don't know the fahrenheit because i use celsius and we're just gonna bake these for seven to eight minutes around that time i forgot to preheat my oven so guess I'll just put these first in the freezer. Fingers crossed, y'all. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hopefully really good. All right, I'll put this in the freezer first. My oven has been preheating for 10 minutes now. I finally get to put these in the oven. Hey Siri, please set a timer for 8 minutes and 10 seconds. Your timer is set for 8 minutes and 10 seconds. A few moments later. The cookies turned out so beautifully. Look at that. 
They're so cute. Look. Oh, I can't wait to try these. It smells very coconutty and very chocolatey as well. And I could still smell the oats. Just mm, amazing. I hope my siblings will enjoy this as well. And someday, to my future husband, I hope you like these cookies too. <sighs> I'm still single. God, when am I gonna get a boyfriend? <laughs> You'll see, he said. Can't relate to those people who are dating right now. But me, I'm gonna go on a date with my cookies. All right, I'm gonna have them and I'll have a cup of tea on the side. As you can see, I'm with my jacket on and a bag because I am off to church after this. And honestly, this is the best feeling ever. That's really nice and warm. These are really good. These are like chewy, but at the same time like crispy. If you guys like it crispier and a little bit harder, bake it for like 10 minutes. But if you guys prefer a chewier texture, I think go with eight minutes. Um, the reason why I use dark chocolate is because it just balances the sweetness really. Because if I use milk chocolate, it'll be really, really sweet. The base of these cookies is literally brown sugar. And brown sugar is a type of sugar, which is sweet. So I prefer using dark just to balance out the flavor see i used rolled oats for this one i just blended several times i don't even have to put vanilla extract for this and it already tastes amazing i try to avoid like i've just been wanting to come up with a recipe that's healthier and i'm glad that i get to use oat flour to bake cookies now you guys could totally make this vegan without eggs some people use vegan milk like oat milk for example or almond milk like i myself i'm not really vegan like i'm not vegan but i don't mind eating vegan foods because they're quite nice they're good thank you so much for watching this vlog um hope you try out the recipe because they're good and hope you have an amazing week an amazing day wherever you're at and just wanted to remind you that he loves you you know jesus and he's there for you so um i really wish he is here right now trying my cookies out i'm pretty sure i think jesus would be happy with my cookies thank you so much for watching hope you like this video go subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and join me every single week because i have contents every time all right and also go join my bible city i'll see you guys on my next video bye